you didn't have time to be scared. You had a drill to do. You, you were drilled all the time you were in the, uh, in, in the service as to what you were going to do on that particular day. And as long as you conformed to that drill movement, you were all right. The drill movement was get off that beach as quickly as possible. Don't worry about people either side of you. If your mate got shot, well, leave him. It's just too bad. My full name was Herbert Edward George Wallace, but it's known as Eddie. And I was a sergeant in the Honourable Artillery Company at the 86th Regiment Heavy Anti-Aircraft. The majority of those troops in the British Army that went over on D-Day and following on um, were the 1942 call-up. We're all youngsters, 18, 19, 20. And as far as I was concerned, I was getting my own back, having been bombed so many times in Portsmouth, and I was Let's get cracking. Came round here to Portsmouth, off the Dolphins. We anchored off the Dolphins, which is off of South Parade Pier there. And I was gazing along the seafront from quite a way out, as you appreciate. And I happened to see the Royal Beach Hotel there. And there was a police officer on duty. I knew that my father, who was also a police officer, would be doing duty at that beach hotel that particular morning, knowing his duties and the, the routine. My father came to the front of the Royal Beach Hotel and I, was, I couldn't see his face because it was so far away, but the way he stood, I knew it was my dad. I will admit, a tear did come to my eye. A tear did, yeah. Would I see dad again? We arrived off of the uh, beaches of Normandy round about, uh, I suppose, eight o'clock on the morning of the 6th of June. You were, all, you were ordered over the tannoy system to uh, stand near your vehicles and uh, all of a sudden the red light at the front of the, the, uh, of the bows of the ship uh, went off, the green light came on and you felt a judder as the ship grounded and uh, the ramp doors opened and the ramp went down and well we we're off just like that go 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 one of the things I do recall was when we landed dead bodies floating all the way around us and uh, you know one or two of the chaps were sick looking at that as they went up the beach but um, personally I got used to that having seen so many dead bodies during the war in, during the air raids when I was in the fire brigade you see so that didn't worry me May the 5th night time the sky lit up to the east of where we were and we thought hello Antwerp's getting a, a bashing but in actual fact peace had been declared or at least an armistice had been declared and the lights of Antwerp had gone on that was the first time we knew that the war had finished once we knew we uh, <laughs> went into the villages around where we were and celebrated Porto played a very very important role very important role. It was the main embarkation leave as far as the British services were concerned. The city was in ruins. Uh, all the major shopping centres had been bombed and flattened. And, uh, but as far as I'm concerned, I came back and just picked up my job where I left off, which is a, a beat copper. <laughs> the funny thing about it was, as I resumed duty on Christmas Day, they wouldn't give me that day off, not Christmas Day, 